Today's Weather Kids experiment is taking us to Hamilton, where Candace Monticelli is teaching students how to create their own clouds. And all you need are a few things that you can find right around your home. Well, in this week's edition of Weather Kid, we are at Bentime Elementary, their third grade class. I have Eli and Cole with me, helping me with this experiment. We're going to learn about clouds. Are you guys ready to learn about clouds? Yep. Yeah. All right. So we know mostly cloudy and partly cloudy. Things you hear every day, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's just a part of our weather forecast, but what's in a cloud? So for this experiment, we're going to learn what's in a cloud. So all you need is a two liter bottle, some warm water in there, and some matches. I'll handle the matches though, boys, okay? Okay, good, good. Yeah, you need adult supervision for the matches. So what we're gonna do is we have this clear two liter bottle. We have some warm water in there. Can you feel it? Is that warm on there? Yep. Very warm, okay, so warm water, feel that? Mm -hmm. Warm water, all right. So now you get the warm water in there and shake it up to kind of get it clear. Then this is when you need to get mom or dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle. You wanna light the match. Got to stick it in the bottle and put the cap on real quick, but you got to do this whole step really fast. So do you think I can do this one fast? Yeah. yeah. We'll see if I can light the match. That's half the battle. There we go. All right. Drop it in there. So you see that smoke in there? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, we're going to let it sit for a second. So this is now building and making that cloud. So that warm water, when it was sitting in there and we had that cap on the bottle, it started to evaporate, and that was adding water vapor in the bottle. See how this one's kind of smoky? Uh -huh. So it's going to add that water vapor. That's the first thing you need to make a cloud. Then we needed something else. What do you think the match represents? Mm -hmm. Some dust, some particles, some of the dirty things in the atmosphere. But that's what our water attaches onto for our clouds. So that's when we drop that match in there. And now this is when I need you guys. So we need to add some pressure to the bottles. So what I want you to do, grab them. Now you squeeze them and let go. Now you have a cloud one to let go. See how it gets a little bit foggy? Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you squeeze them, that's the warming in the atmosphere when it comes together. You let go and that's the cooling and then you get that bottle. So it's a faint change, but that's that bottle, cloud in a bottle that you see when you squeeze it and then let it go. This bottle's dying on us. You squeeze it, let it go. It's a little cloud in a bottle, and that's really how that works. You can keep doing it over and over again, squeezing that bottle, releasing it, and that's what happens when a cloud appears. And clouds are awesome. They do so many cool things more than even just this. So you're representing the pressure. So you added our third ingredient. Good job, guys. <laughs> Very good. Well, there it is, a cloud in a bottle. Uh, that is this week's weather kid at Ben Times third grade elementary. I'm meteorologist Candace Monticelli. Thank you, Candace. Next week, we'll be learning about pressure change. To watch all of Fox 17's experiments, just go to our website, search Weather Kids. We'll be right back.